Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to Cat's Eye. Today we're gonna be thrifty and we're gonna do an entire face of drugstore makeup. Yay! I've been kinda spendy with my money lately and I've been doing a lot of reviews on high-end products, but this time we are going to Walgreens and Walmart and CVS. I've got Milani, I've got Wet n Wild, I've got Joa, what else do I got? I've got Elf, I've got CYO, I've got Maybelline. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. So, if you're new here, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Kat and welcome back to Cat's Eye. Um, I wanna give a shout out to one of my newest subscribers, Shay Girl, you are such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I'll do the best I can to bring you the most informative and best content here just for you guys. Anyway, so like I said, we're gonna do a full face of drugstore makeup and I've already uh, put on a foundation that I've never tried before, but I'm in love with their concealer and I'm talking about the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Now I got the shade 00 Light Neutral and so far I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Um, I'll show a little clip of me applying it. I Did one pump on my hand and went over it with my damp beauty sponge again drugstore beauty product it's L'Oreal it's my favorite and I need a new one um, and then I went in with probably my favorite concealer of all time you guys it's the Milani conceal and perfect concealer it is beautiful it does not budge it does not move it doesn't show any crepiness it does not settle into my fine lines I highly recommend it I fell in love with this first before I met this guy. So the two, to, two together, amazing combination. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring. And I picked this up, actually I ordered it off the Walgreens website when I reviewed the CYO Life Foundation, uh, Life Proof Foundation. And I'll, if you haven't seen that particular video, I'll link it up there. But I picked this up, it was the Bronzing and Highlighter Palette uh, Shimmer Switch by CYO. I got it for $3.75. I know, super crazy. But look how beautiful that is. I know it's a highlighter, but you know what I do with this? I take this lower two colors, the bottom two, and I just take my brush here, tap it off, and I swirl it underneath to give just a little bit of contour. And it's nice and warm. It's not too cool on my skin and the formula for 375 is so smooth and it's not uh, glittery in my opinion it feels wonderful and it gives just that natural beautiful contour um, and then after I put on the rest of my makeup I go in with the top two colors and I just highlight through here and on the top of my nose Cupid's bow but we'll get to that in just a minute let's do our eyes Mm, I'm so excited. Okay, I am in love with this palette. I know it's been around. It's Makeup Revolution's iconic Vitality palette. Now, I understand it's been compared to Anastasia Beverly Hills' uh, Modern Renaissance palette. I'm not quite sure. I could be wrong on that. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below. But this palette is so versatile. You can tell it's all eh, janked up because I've used it so much. It has so many possibilities. The color story is beautiful. You've got some beautiful mattes. You've got some beautiful reds and burgundies, some burnt oranges, like nice shimmer golds here. You can see that. And then you've got a nice matte black here. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take this peachy shade and I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelid. Now I didn't prime my lids, I just used the Milani concealer and I'm just gonna take this all over the lid and bring it up. And the formulas are so smooth, there's very little fallout and the power, the staying power is fantastic. So there we go. Oh it's so pretty. You may not be able to see anything but it's there. 
And then I'm just gonna clean off the same brush and I'm gonna dip into this mustard color right here. And I don't believe they have names for the colors. They don't, there's no names. It's just the call it what you will. And I'm just gonna put it here on my brow bone, right through here and just lightly go through. And today we're gonna go for a natural look because I'm feeling oh so natural. That sounded like a tampon commercial. Anyway, so here we go. We're gonna go over the brow bone just like so. And then I'm gonna take my clean fluffy brush and just blend it out, soften it up blends beautifully a little deeper shade right there and make sure my brush is clean it's kind of a deeper tone and just go a little bit underneath into my crease like so and like i said these colors are so warm and so pretty perfect daytime look is what we're going to go for nothing too dramatic but you can get a lot of dramatic looks out of this palette for sure so let's take that this is already looking pretty then i'm going to take my brush and just blend it in with windshield wiper moves pretty okay see right there and now i'm going to take a clean brush my mac brush make sure it's clean and I'm going to go in with this really punchy color. I know we said natural, neutral look, but you would be surprised if you add just a little pop of color, and I'm going to put it right through here just to brighten the eye just a wee bit to open it up. We're not going to go too crazy, and you would be surprised. The color's punchy, but when you blend it, it turns out beautifully see how it's blending out so effortlessly such a great little palette and it retails for seven dollars yes seven dollars i'm telling you we're not spending a lot of money today that's for sure so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a combination of this color here the first color i went in with the mustard and dab a little bit of that with that punchy color the rose color I'm just going to smoke my eyes out below, like so. Just so we can connect it all. Next, we're going to go in with this dark, dark brown. And we're just going to put it in the corner of the eye. And, oh, I got a little bit of fog. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work just to open it up because you know at my age i've got hooded eyes so i need to open it up it's funny because i have a lot of lid space from here to there like tons of lid space like you can move a small family of six onto my eyelids but the hoods the hoods are huge and that's what happens when you get older so unfortunately you gotta learn some tips and tricks to pop that open See, now already my eyes look bigger. Thank goodness. So I'm just going to blend that in real quickly here. I love this palette. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe brush, this one right here, and I'm going to grab some of that brown and then get a little bit tighter in there through here. And did you know, if you do not blend out the lower lash line and there's a sharp line, if you have small eyes or in any case, what your eyes look like, a sharp line under your eye will make your eyes look smaller. The more you blend it out and blur it out, the more your eyes will look bigger. So you definitely want to blur that out. So now I think I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with a pop of color and I'm going to go in with that hmm, champagne gold right here. See the color payoff there? I'm just going to lightly tap it onto my lids. That little, the little bit of the brown and just soften the edges. And 
again blend in a swirly motion. Go in with this frosted pink. You see that here? And I'm just going to pop it on my brow bone right through here. And then in the inner corner of my eye to make that pop. And I'm just going to come in, soften those edges for sure. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some eyeliner and some mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I went in with my eyeliner, and I went in with the Wet n Wild Proline Felt Tip Eyeliner. I think I got this for about four bucks. Um, I love it. It's a, a great matte eyeliner. It's got a firm felt tip, so it gets in really easy on your lash line. And I wanted to try that new mascara by L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara with the Bended Wand. The formula, um, it's a little clumpy, but it's not that bad. And it is kind of cool how you can bend the, the applicator wand um, like so, as you could see when I was applying it. It's really good for getting into those corners right in the right at the very end. Now, my eyelashes are short and stubby. That's just how God made me. Now for blush, I went, I ordered the CYO blush and it's Crush on Blush is the name of the color. And this was $3. Amazing, amazing blush. It's got such a punch. It's very happy for springtime. And I just take a little bit on my brush, tap it off, because a little bit goes a long way. And I just go ahead and go on the apples of my cheeks and make sure you don't put too much on. And it just gives like a really healthy glow. See how pretty that is? So, and I think, if I, I forgot to mention, I did do my eyebrows previously with the Joa Brow Pencil. Um, I think this is such a dupe for the Benefit Eyebrow Pencil. This one right here, the, um, I do not have my glasses on, precisely my brow pencil. Uh, this brow pencil has, as you can see, I love it so much. I've used it so much. And then it has the spoolie on the end where you can brush up your eyebrow hairs. Now, I believe it retails for $8.99. Um, in terms of consistency between this one and this one, this is a little waxier, but for me, I kind of like the way it goes on. So I have no problem using this whatsoever. Ah, for highlighter. I'm gonna go back in with my CYO highlighting palette right here. I'm going to take the top two colors and I'm just going to go right over the top of my cheeks right through here and it just gives like a natural shine. It's not like you can see me from the moon but it gives that natural glow and I'm just going to take it down the top of my nose a little bit here and I don't know my brush is probably too big but just a very nice, happy glow. There. Okay. That was CYO. I'm so, so corn fused. What's next? I bought a new lip liner and it's wet and wild. And it's a gel liner, first gel, gel lip liner. And I got it, it's called Perfect Pout. And I got it in the color sure to, oh God. This is what happens when you get old. You can't see anymore. Bear to comment. Ooh. So, oh, this is what she looks like. And I'm just going to go right in. Ooh, this is really nice. Very soft. Oh, and this is a beautiful color. Mm. This I'm in love with. I may have to go back and get some more. Now I picked up two lip glosses from Wet n Wild. The new one from the Crystal Cavern collection, that's brand new, it came out. They came out with eyeshadows, uh, primers, lip gloss. Uh, oh, and I got this too. I meant to tell you that I went ahead and primed my skin with this after I primed it with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and, oh, what else did it, no? 
that that was it and i also moisturized my face with the elf hello hydration face cream this contains peptides so peptides complex so for 12 dollars, this is a fantastic moisturizer uh drugstore prices i'm saying but this this i just spritzed over my face after i put the poreless primer on there but this is the color wet n wild uh mega glow lip gloss in rose quartz this is a beautiful color but i also got another one color icon lip gloss in um like a nude shade and i believe these are both limited edition so i'm going to try out the rose quartz first let me see what it looks like and then we'll try the nude one next oh that's pretty oh hello Ooh, that is super pink. Hmm, what do you think? It feels good. It doesn't really smell like anything. That's pretty. It's pretty for spring. I do like it for spring. So, that's nice. I like it. Let's swatch this one and see what it looks like. I'm thinking it might be a little too nude for me, if you know what I mean. This one doesn't smell at all. So, ooh, can you see that? Let me swatch it some more. This has a different consistency compared to the rose quartz. Should we try this one on? I think we should. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Oh. Ooh, it's very thick. Ooh, God, this does not look good on me. I guess. Let's see, are we missing anything? Oh, I got one more thing. It's supposed to be a mist. Oh, God, and I didn't open it up. Of course you didn't, Catherine. Um, I did set under my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. That's what we have under here. And this is, I actually like it a lot. It's in 110, the color 110, matte and poreless. And at my age, I definitely need to be poreless. And it's not too drying in my opinion. So it's working out so far. But yeah, let's try this. I think this is supposed to give you an all over glow. And I definitely want to have that glowy, dewy skin because I believe the uh, Milani Conceal and Perfect has medium to full coverage, but it's a matte finish, so. Let's check this spray out. Oh. Oh, I don't like the smell, but in the name of science, I'm gonna go for it. Actually, the spray is bad. It's not that bad. Okay. Am I glowing? This actually isn't bad at all. And I'm not sure how much I paid for it. I'll, I'll list the prices down below. I think I got it for like $4.99. And it's great travel size if you think about it. But this is the Aura Mega Glow Face Mist from Wet n Wild. So I think that's 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 all she wrote. So what do you think, guys? I had fun doing this little review and tutorial. I mean, some of the stuff is new. Some of the stuff is not new. For example, the Milani Concealer. But I've been dying to try the Conceal and Perfect Foundation. So far, I am super happy with the way it looks. It matches my skin tone perfectly. Um, it feels light and comfortable on the skin. It has great medium to full coverage. Like I said, I only went in with one layer. Um, guys, I really recommend the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. It is pretty much the only concealer I use. And I don't believe in spending like $30 for a high-end concealer if you can find a great drugstore alternative. So yeah, I mean, that's it for today's uh, review. I and that's a wrap for our drugstore products review. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you will click like and subscribe. And remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. So have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you next time. Bye.